Hey everyone. I know y'all been asking where I've been and stuff, and um, it's been very difficult and stuff as far as where we live and stuff like that. They want the old person back, and also was asked the blog, or you know, the conversation becoming a lot of different ways and stuff. When are you going to start back the blog, and then when are you going to start? And then I had um, TikTok hit me up and asked me, you know, I have one last in my blog. And the weird thing is, like, I just be like, really going through it stress and stuff and I understand like I said before I'm trying to find my way back but anyway so hopefully you can hear me on this mic I want you to definitely comment below and let me know if you can hear me I'm trying to do something totally different which means that I am actively <laughs> doing something okay so you know everything about my dating life is horrible it's at the end of the rope and the thing about it is that we live in a world where everything is gratification. Once upon a time, you go out on a date, get to meet somebody, stuff like that. And I realize that ugly guys do not. Guys don't, like, like they don't, um, you know, once upon a time, he's like, well, he's not the best of the world, but he's going to treat me good. And that's not how it happens. He's, he feels like he's the king of the jungle, which is so weird to me. And the weirdest thing of it all is, I'm gonna fix this camera. I'm trying to adjust it. And the weird thing of it all is the better than factor. People feel like they're better than you. It's like, yo, I used to think once upon a time when people want to be with somebody, you could you put your, your best armor on. Because you know you want to be with them and stuff like that. But the thing about it now, the other guys are conceited, the cute guys are conceited, the men said they're the prize. Um also, they want to come. They want to come to. They want you to come to the house, pick them up, bring some food. Bring, that's the bullshit. What's the use of dating now? If you got all these things already, why do you need a man? I know we love men, of course, but the thing about it is kind of make you lean forward. If you do a lot of research and stuff, you realize a lot of people are out there hurting, not just like you, but you know, if it's you can find somebody. That's why people. I'm assuming in my mind that hold on to Sierra and Russell Wilson. So much because simple fact of matters they give you a zoom of love that we want. And it's so sad that we only get to see that role model. And most people that are probably role models keep themselves out the public. Because one thing about people, they will look spicy for the mistake instead of hearing the message. <sighs> I have tried. And this is the thing with me. And you may be like me or maybe not. I'm like an empath. So when I feel like I connect with you, like I kind of bond with you. If you type of girl that sit up there, you know you fall in love easy. But you want to meet men at the same platform as far as they move me go, as far as what since men do, so I'm going to do it for them. But if you're not built like that, you're not going to win that war. Because they're a program, they really can really just have sex with you and not care about you. And at the end of the day, I think that's my biggest problem is the bonding factor. I bond with you. I might be get along. Everything is going really good. Whether you're a big girl, small girl, tall girl, you know, whatever. But the thing is, like, it's the bonding factor. Then it becomes the fact of you start going down. Your requirements get less and then you become less and less present. With a lot of things, you're going to be less present or you're going to lie before you allow because at this point, you don't even care what it looks like. You just want to know if they treat you right. And my problem is because season has taken a whole new platform and it, it's in the area we live in. You know, ah. Uh, I don't know. I'm a romantic. If you like me, we love, love, love. We want to be in love. I call you in the morning. You know, we hanging out. We doing things. But it seems like that's been canceled, in my opinion, as far as me anyway. Now, I'm sure there are girls out here that are successful in relationships, but it's just not me. Then I watch a lot of things online. People try to get, you know, positive and stuff like that, and they'll start sharing their stories. Like, I was watching this one guy who, um, at least he's a gay guy, him and his boyfriend and stuff. And I was this story. He was like, I can't believe I haven't got that many views. I haven't believed I should have over I should have over seven thousand people on my, you know, subscribe to my channel. And I'm thinking to myself, that's not how it goes. It's just like uh, I don't know. It's just certain people get there, but also I think people pay for views and people pay for count. I ain't paying for nothing. My money don't allow me to pay for nothing. That's why I'll be having my baby logo on YouTube, my little cash app. Because let's be honest, I've done a lot of videos, like almost 4,000 videos. And the thing is, like, 
people want to do what they want to do, and at the end of the day, they're going to do what they want. Now, of course, they're not a lot of subscribers, and I've been doing this since 2000 and 2008. And the funny thing about it is, I really don't care anymore because I've done my due diligence as far as trying to get the message out as far as killing and murdering, which I don't like. And the sad part about it, like I said before, this channel did it because they're people that are different. Now, if you look, I will have my catch up everything information there on the channel, which anybody, which anybody everybody who has um, helped me, or should I say help sponsor me, because everybody else will look up. I have done over six, excuse me, I have to six million followers, and also I've done 426, 20, excuse me, 4,663 videos. Now, for a person who's done this type of work, it should be a conversation where I'm like bringing people, you know, subscribe to my channel, which I really don't tell people, you know, you do what you want to do, and that's, I joined this channel, which I sent me this channel back in April 26, 2008, and I've never been paid. Now, of course, I cater to everything and everybody who is different in this world because I feel like everybody needs somebody to represent them, especially the kind of leaders that stand on the forefront. In other words, we catch all the bullets for everybody else decide that they don't want to do that. But we should actually stand on the forefront to fight for everybody, have a, a better equality and a better living as far as discrimination in this world we're living. And unfortunately, we live in a hypocrite world where there are a bunch of hypocrites that, that still do not want to be discriminated against but discriminate other people, which is sad. Now people ask me, oh, you just got transgender people on your channel. I said, that's not true. The thing about it is, like I said before, I cater to people who are different. If you feel like they don't belong this way, you feel like everything you try to do is always a negativity or somebody's trying to do something to destroy, I cater to you because I'm going to let you know that you are existing in this world is very important. And unfortunately, if you don't, if you don't let the dark side win, it could really break your spirit. I cater to people who are different. And like I said before, sometimes it comes very overwhelming, especially in this world of living in negativity. And the thing that gets me so upset is so much hypocrites. Everybody wants to say one thing, but when it comes to a turn, they get upset. Well, you know what? They want to use this profanity, F y'all, this, that, and that. This is what you said this was somebody else. Now it's your turn. Now you're all upset. Now you want to call people's names and stuff, but you made everybody else stand in what you felt this was right. But it's so weird. We live in a hypocrite world. And the sad part about it, there are a lot of people that are never going to live their lives for their truth or who they are, who they want to be, what this the hair color, even a lot of females and stuff, which is which I think is a lot of different opinions because of, uh, it's a case by case basis. Wait a minute. It's a case by case basis. And we live in a world that's just very dark sometimes. And unfortunately, I'm trying to work with this camera here, y'all. Work with me. Because um, I'm trying to do something totally different than what I'm normally used to doing. Because after that, you know, see how this works out and stuff. Because I've been pushed. I, I kept saying the message is being told to me, even though I may not be listening to the message, but I'm constantly being told the same thing. Where's the videos? Why you haven't been blogging? Blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, I have to be mentally prepared. Like I always said before, sometimes I don't be mentally ready because I deal with a whole lot of stuff and negativity. There is a lot to blog. It's, you just can't blog and just say, I'm going to blog and do something positive. Because then here, maybe I don't want to show you how much hate they can give you. As if the world isn't doing enough. Now let's talk about the president. They're talking about, you know, as far as um, the presidency. I really want to get into this Democrat and Republican. But the thing about it is, if you vote for Republican, it's going to be a problem. Because if Trump gets in the office, it's going to be a bigger problem. But the thing about it is, unfortunately, we kind of have to go to Biden only because of, you know, it's just a safe place. You go to Trump, you're going to get some every day. The abortions, the women's rights. Uh, LGBTQ rights, job discrimination, everything's going to change in your world. You think you think God, things, things bad now until it's sitting in your lap. But unfortunately, a lot of people are not going to hear this message because they're so busy looking for the mistake. Like I said before, this is my first blog as far as me moving forward. I'm going to try to keep them constantly coming because at the end of the day, like I said before, it's a lot of mental things I'm dealing with and trying to find ways to get myself back to you. So it's in my fight and I maybe get my butt kicked. But you know one thing about Raven, Raven do fight back. So like I said before, protect your spirit. Subscribe to my channel. At the top is the Instagram button. And also the cash a cash app if you want to help me afford it, uh, help me along the way as I'm still trying to recovery. So I came back from a stroke. And I love you. And I'm gonna tell you. Thank you for watching Catch the Wave. And I know that I want the old song and stuff, but we want to work on that. I'll get back to the old me like I said before, it's a process. But I love you and thank you for watching Cast the Wave.